and lawyer. Okay, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folani. My guest this morning, Dr. Uh, Yusuf, uh, Dr. Fasi Yusuf, I inverted the order. He's actually Dr. Fasi Yusuf. He's a lawyer and uh, political affairs communication expert. Thank you very much for coming on. My pleasure. Indeed. You're looking radiant this morning. Oh, you're very kind of you. I, I seek to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> 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 and uh, Curtis Adigba, Mr. Adigba is a lawyer as well. He is also uh, a political uh, consultant. Thank, Thank you very much for coming on the Thanks program. Thanks for having me. Guys, um, it's, it's very much in the air. So let's continue. We were there yesterday. The legislative rascality and the National Assembly mace. Whereas it's not new, you, you watch TV in other countries of the world, you see it. Uh, but in the case of what happened yesterday, again, it isn't new with us here. Uh, I, I guess we've played the video so often that people probably know it second by second. It seemed that when the thugs, as called, invaded the National Assembly, invaded the Senate uh, chamber, every senator in there, as it were, almost was just looking at the scenario like this, almost, uh, gave way. Nobody sought to prevent, uh, if they had wanted to, they could have over overwhelmed those pro uh, attackers. It didn't happen. That's on the one hand. Um, but then how did they breach the security of the National Assembly? Uh, that's another point that, um, uh, that's why you wouldn't be surprised if at Pepe Soup joints, people have begun to say that there's a conspiracy theory here. Uh, there is much more to this that meets the eye. Well, we don't know. Let's just stay on the straight and narrow, which is the facts. Uh, 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 hoodlums invaded the National Assembly and uh, the rest is history by now. Uh, Senator Omar, Omar Agege, who somehow has been mentioned in connection with this, he has sought an injunction. The police cannot touch him. Uh, so we, that's where we are. Now, let me just get your perspectives and um, just the opening gambit first. Um, let me start with you, if I could, um, you know, uh, Curtis. Your opening view on the rascality, if that is indeed what it is, in the National Assembly, or was this a case of, hey, an attack? We didn't know, we just sat down here, wanted to do our business, and then some people just invaded us. What do you think? Well, I will start by asking a question. How is it so easy for criminals to invade homes or private citizens? It is because we have general insecurity in the country, and the people in charge, those who should ameliorate the situation, are only bothered about their own personal safety and security. And very soon they are going to find out that there is no hiding place mm. for anybody. But I was going to say in relation to that question, and I know I'm yes. splitting hairs. I'm not splitting you know, hairs. That look, when you ask that question for, for, for examples as to how is it that, people, that uh, people's houses are invaded, I would say, well, the difference is that they might, unfortunately, not have professional security yes. uh, at their disposal. But here you have no less than the might of the Nigerian police. Look, I think, let me start by saying that, look, the action of the invaders is condemnable in very strong terms. Who are the invaders? Well, I'm, I'm coming to that. We don't know them. I think that is the, that's the job of the police to unravel who and yes. who invaded the National Assembly. And that's the rascality part. Yes. But you see, it is not entirely the action of the members of the Senate themselves. From what we are hearing, the narrative is some people who are not supposed to be there mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. entered the Senate and did what they did. Now, you have all kind of rumors flying around and all that. But like again, you say, look, in politics, there's something that is very clear. That whenever there's a collision between reason and emotion, emotion will win. <laughs> well, I love that. Because now, now, at this point, let me just hear from uh, Fassi. Uh, he's opening this sort of uh, view, bird's eye view of this whole scenario. Well, the, the short sentence is that security gives way to conspiracy. Hmm. Okay, uh, so you're putting a bit of you're, you're putting a bit of stock on the conspiracy theory. Yes, yes. In this in this yes. affair, well, there was no way. I've been to the National Assembly mm -hmm. on many occasions, from the gate, from the last security gate to the Senate chambers, it's about one kilometer. Ditto, so that's our representatives. So now you have about three gates before you could enter the. National Assembly complex. Now, is it possible for anybody unauthorized to get entrance to the National Assembly? Now, we have state security service, we have the Nigerian police, 
You have uh, Nigerian civil defense there, at least three security agencies. Is it possible for any so in parentheses, mm -hmm. hoodlums, mm -hmm. to enter freely and come out freely? Well, and again, you have the sergeant at arms. Yes. The sergeant at arms is a retired general. And to coordinate the security apparatus, and you also have a divisional police office in that within place. the National Assembly. Exactly. So if, I mean, assuming better that was of security as, expertise. Assuming, assuming better would that consider that, that some people, unauthorized people, entered, I won't call them hoodlums. Hoodlums will not find their way there because they know that the security there will not it allow is, them. It's virtually so unbeatable. If, if, if you're you a hoodlum. Yes. So why was it not possible for them to radio? Or to call the security gate because there are only two, there are only two security gates exactly. leading to the National Assembly. Yes. The general one. So they've gained access. Look at the maze being carried out. Yes. No senator is throwing himself in front of them. No, not, not everybody, the one Everybody, everybody. What about that. even the gallery? The gallery yes. is watching this so scenario. Yes. Look at the easy. No, no, nobody intervened. Yes. Like, look at the easy getaway. Uh, nobody is nobody preventing those so, guys. No, and they were just about three or four of them. Where somebody picked the maze? Pass it to another person. Mm -hmm. The guy in white, I agree, mm -hmm. pick the mace, pass it on to somebody in maroon, like you are, what you are wearing now. <laughs> Go away, pass <laughs> it. <laughs> and, and nobody could even lock the, the door, the entrance. There was no effort so, to prevent And uh, my this. good friend, uh, uh, making common sense or whatever, <laughs> yes, yes, was just yes. looking at scans. Maybe it was rattled. Okay, Senator Ben Bruce. But they, no, yeah. but these are big men. They maybe, don't want to be hurt by anything. Rattled, but then, <laughs> no, but these are supposed to but, be men of valor. Security men at the entrance. These men who, who create... allow these men to enter, assuming. But why should anybody be allowed to enter? Because assuming they allow uh, Senator Omo Agege to enter, yes. but why should they allow others mm. mm -hmm, who are mm -hmm. not members uh, when they are not holding any special session? That will allow people to enter. Let's and they, they this, look at all, all these things, let, let, let's look at is it. probably what gives rise to the uh, no. one of the headlines this morning. Yeah. Send it to quiz IGP, DSS, DG over thugs invasion. Okay. It's like they themselves are saying that. Yeah, but let me ask who you. Who am a I going to ask? There, yeah. there is no senator in this country that goes around without but, an armed mobile policeman. The leadership of the Senate, be it the Senate president, or the deputy senate president, or the majority leader, travel in convoy of mobile policemen, heavily secured. And these guys, once they go into the National Assembly premises, they stand down. So how did this happen? Is it that the security men were withdrawn? Now, this is in exactly you, the you, question. So but, but gentlemen, could we, could we now go to, what, what was the purpose of all of this? Of course, just in case anybody you know, does not understand it, the MIS is a symbol of authority, yes. and uh, without it, you people are just having a meeting. You know, you're just having a social Immediately meeting. Immediately they, you know. they procure another yes. one. But, uh, well, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, but this one has now been, uh, this from, from we've lost the mace, we now have a situation where it's been returned to them. Uh, the police have returned this mace to them. But it still leaves a whole lot to be desired because when you see an attack proper, where truly these people came so prepared, they're all like ninja warriors, nobody could... But, I thought senators, and for that matter, have, uh, representatives, are men of valor. These people yeah. summon generals and no, question no, 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 them. No, no, no. Uh, only men no, of valor can do that. Look, no, no. Nobody stood in the path of those uh, guys. You know what I think is happening here? I think these guys have found out that Nigerians are hungry for things to talk about. And so from time to time, they throw us bones and get us to chew. It's mm -hmm. diversionary. Uh, uh, on on this issue. Diversionary. Because listen. Uh, well, that, that would mean you're suggesting why? ever so vaguely that it could, uh, it could, it could possibly be an inside job. I'm, I'm dog whistling here. Look, the fact is, what was at stake in the plenary of that day? All right? You recall that there was a time the EFCC or one security agency invaded the house of the chairman, Senate Committee on Appropriation, yes. looking for funds. And we were told that the budget bills were also stolen or were moved away <laughs> by the security agencies. Yes. So w we should be asking, what was at stake that money? What was so important? Was it the fact that Senator Ovie Agege, Omo Agege, mm. who was supposed to be on suspension, but decided to come to plenary because he said, the courts have said, you cannot suspend me, all right? And now, even if 
the talks followed him, as he's been speculated. Mm. It's not conclusive. Mm -hmm. And they took the mace away. Why was Omo Agege still sitting for plenary? And nobody challenged him. And nobody challenged and, and, and nobody him. Asked and nobody asked him to walk out of the, of the place. Well, the Senate president wasn't there. No, it doesn't uh -uh. matter. He doesn't have to be there. The constitution is very clear. If he's not there, his deputy will preside. If his deputy is not there, majority leader will preside. Enough majority leader is not there. The Senate will decide. Mm. Mm. So, so it doesn't matter if it, he was personally present. So, so, so this kind of rascality, so, you are saying it's, it's, it's possibly a diversion because people are yet to make sense of it. But people uh, will call I, in I, now I, Yori, and give us Yori, their perspective. Yori, I said, we talk about uh, uh, security giving way to conspiracy. Mm. See, whatever perspective you are looking at it, there must have been some insider job. Because it was not something anybody can just do. Mm. That being challenged. In the first instance, why should they allow... There are people at the gate. Mm. Why should they allow people, apart from Bovee Whiskey, I mean, sorry, Bovee Agege, Oma Agege, to enter that uh, uh, so-called uh, chambers, and yet other people are allowed to come in? They don't normally allow people to come in. And if you want to, if the proposal... Unless uh, the president or somebody is coming to address them and they, they open their gate and not... Uh, otherwise, only yeah. senators. He says, look... They don't even allow their security men to Don't enter. forget that the National Assembly is within the three-arm zone of the government that is well secured. And look, here's the point. I asked somebody who said to me, the talks were brought in by Omar Agege to snatch the mess. Omar Agege came into the Senate to participate in the plenary. You know, based on this conviction that the courts have said, you cannot suspend me, mm. all right? Mm. So if he was coming to sit for the plenary section of the Senate, and then he arranged for the maze to be snatched, so How, what was he going to do in the well, Senate? Well, well, you know, okay, that, that's one way to look at it. Because he would have followed the guys who took the maze away and probably go to his house and constitute a new Senate and preside over himself. <laughs> <laughs> now, so, now, now, this is, <laughs> this is beginning to sound ridiculous. And yeah. it's because we don't know what the whole motive was. Apart from what you've suggested, a diversion. Say, but what are they diverting us from? Uh, no, the well, point, well, listen, listen. We all know it, it's, it's the journey towards 2019. Politics. Yes. 2019 is at stake. And it is, uh, it is I remember, I think last week when I was here, that, look, when you have some so-called APC members who are one leg in and one leg out, and you have some that are sitting on the fence. So it is... To, to, to them, to this set of uh, APC members, mm. it is better that the whole thing is put upside down oh, so that they will create a, a scenario or they will create a situation where at least they will be able to take a flight. <laughs> to okay, okay that's, that, 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 that's one theory. Yes. Uh, Mr. George, good morning and thank you for calling in. Uh, good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you for calling. Good morning. And good morning to the panelists as well. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uncle Yori, yesterday I, I said that this issue we should discuss the cause rather than the effect. Yes. What I saw in that video, because I got an extended clip from one journalist who was there, what I saw in that video is a protest by the um, consequence of Senator Omangege. You see that they, 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 they walked. I don't know what, what, what they must have uh, discussed so during the... You know, a, a few days before, some of his uh, people came to the National Assembly to protest his suspension. Okay. So the same people came out with him. It's like saying, okay, if you say our man cannot be in this place, the session will also not take place. Okay. So describing them as dogs is wrong. Those people that I saw, some of them are better than... Uh, some senators who are always composing music and dancing in the chamber there. We should <laughs> look at the issue. I agree what with him. The Senate has, uh, I don't want to use this word, but what they are doing has robbed them of credibility and respect hmm? by the public. Look at six months, half, half of a year, the budget for 2018 was sent to them. Up to now, no, nothing like budget. The Constitution, I mean, the, the President sent them um, um, a bill for anti-corruption. For three years now, they dumped them. 
all they discuss there is either how to make money and summon MBA chiefs that are refusing to, 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 to dance to their tune, and then just trifles. They themselves have proved that they cannot end the respect of the people. Mm. How are you suspending somebody when you don't have a right to do that? We must talk about that before we talk about uh, invasion. What are we, we, the, the, the invasion, the senators called for it. Why must the Senate be a, a, a political party of the Senate president? Is that what, what it was designed to be? Okay. So let's call it the state. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yes. okay, thank you very much. Uh, Th th thank you for calling in, Mr. George. It's an interesting look, perspective that I, you bring you about know, here. You know, but, I but you see, this place is where laws are formulated for 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 for, for public order. I mean, can, can, can you imagine uh, a worse example of a breakdown of law and order, apparently instigated from within the House, supposed to make laws let, for order? Let, look, I think you raised a very important point, and this has always been um, my point of view on this issue. When we look, let's look at the law, for instance, section 50 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. It says that the Senate, they say the Senate and the House of Representatives shall from among themselves elect the Senate President, the Deputy Senate President, the Speaker, and the Deputy Speaker. All other positions are dealt with according to tradition of the House. Now, the Senate President, the Deputy Senate President, Speaker, Deputy Speaker, first and foremost, are senators and representatives of their people. The only reason why they have been elevated to that position is so that you can have people preside over the affairs of the National Assembly mm -hmm. for peace and orderly conduct. So, it doesn't make them superior no, it's, to others. It's just primus so, inter pares. But, but, yeah, but, inter -pares. but what we see here in implementation is that the Senate President, yes. the Speaker, the Deputy Senate, they have become so big and bigger than the institution itself yes. that you cannot express a contrary opinion. So mm. the CDM says that as well Section 60 gives power <coughs> to the National Assembly, either the Senate or the House of Reps, to regulate their procedure. And under this section, they have developed rules, internal rules that guide them. But this that rule... Was, but the one was forged. Yeah, yeah, look. <laughs> yeah. Now, and it's under this rule that they suspend people. Senator Omo Agege himself was part of those who suspended Alun Dume as, as a member of the Ethics Committee. And the point I have been making over the years is that, look, if I, I was elected by my people to represent them in the Senate, there is an issue, there is a dominant position of the Senate but my constituents say they don't want. And I address the press, or I say it, wherever I say it. Is that enough to end me a suspension? Okay, one moment. Uh, Gerald uh, in Abuja, good And to morning. derogate me and deny my people of representation. Good morning, Gerald. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, go ahead, please. You're on air now. Yori, how are you, sir? Very well, sir. Thank you very much for calling in. I celebrate the two gentlemen of the legal profession there and their unpolitized position this morning. Thank you, sir. George has taken it out of my mouth, and I'm celebrating George, the last caller this morning. The two gentlemen there talked about distraction, distraction, that the myth, you know, grew her heart, is meant to distract us. I actually, you know, don't know what we are being distracted from. But let me talk more about distraction. Nigerians have become so gullible, Uncle Yori. If you remember me out of the, you know, thousands, if not millions of callers, I also always talk about ignorance, naivety. The fact that, you know, our civil populace are grossly naive, sentimental, myopic, and funny. And that is why we are where we are as a nation. What we should be talking about is not this grandstanding yes. and the, uh, you know, general condemnation. What has happened is that a front of democracy, every right-minded, my right-minded person should really condemn it. Why should you condemn it? Uncle Yori and gentlemen, like George said, what happened is expected and it is to be seen as normal. Why do I say that? 
if abnormality and madness become you know, the foundation of living hmm. in a, a sociocultural milieu, if you go right-minded, you are sick. What do I mean? Else has been entrenched in the National Assembly. Like the lawyer is just saying now, a senator in the very bastion of democracy, the National Assembly, in the classical, you know, you know, democratic theory, democracy, there is none if there is no National Assembly, which is the people. And there is nothing like Congress or National Assembly. It is me. It is you. Yes. And somebody stands on the floor of the house, democracy where there is you no know, freedom of expression to convert a contrary opinion you send him away and mind you you didn't send him away you send the people away yes you send the electorate you send the people that democracy that certify democracy you expand the whole constituency or a senatorial zone even when they are doing justice to the nation or even converting their own personal opinion you shut them up and send them away what we should be discussing this morning on Koyeri and gentlemen is we should be you know, de demonizing, I'm sorry, Bukola Seraki and the National Assembly for destroying our democracy. Thank and you very much for calling in. Appreciate your call. Really thank you for calling in so and doing the an an analysis. Mind. I wonder if this is not beginning to look in the light of analysis that is coming out, something <laughs> of a collapse of our morality. Because, uh, whereas I understand... We don't talk about morality. Aha, aha. You see, you know, because this I was is trying a problem. To make a point. This is a problem right yes. there. As all men of goodwill and responsibility say, um, there's a right way to go about a thing. And they say two wrongs don't make a right. But what, you know, uh, Gerald has just explained is that, well, that's fine in as long as the majority of the people are sane. But if everybody has gone bonkers, to come and be the only, <laughs> only sane person. Yeah, but, but you see, I... That appears to I, be... But, I, so I, we're going back to, can, I, are you saying that wrong can be right no, no, sometimes? No, 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 I share that, I share some sentiment, but here's the point. The leadership of the National Assembly has become too dictatorial. And they are not drawing their powers from the... Const Look, you cannot make laws while you are breaking the same set of laws. Now, you make laws. Let, let me give you an example. In 2002, Senator Anton Zeribe was the first to collide with the rules of the Senate. The allegation was that he was mobilizing other senators to impeach the then Senate president, Anjim Paos Anjim. And Anjim Paos came and said, look, Zeribe has stolen some money from the National Assembly coffers. <laughs> and that, that had brought the National Assembly into disrepute. Then Zeribe went to court. It was Michael Zekeme, who went to argue in court that the Senate lacks power to suspend a senator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. At that now, time. fast track to 20 to 2017, when Aline Dume had the same problem with the Senate. Aline Dume was simply asking the Senate to investigate the allegation around a Range Rover that was imported, and then and the, certificate the forgery. It, this Senator Dino Melaye was the one who stood up and said his privileges had been are, are breached, breached, and Ndume was suspended. Ndume went to court. The court gave a ruling that says, you, the National Assembly does not have the power to suspend Ndume. Ndum. That has not been appealed. Who was the lawyer? Ozekome. Again, arguing against his earlier position hmm. <laughs> that they do have the power. <laughs> so what we have here is dictatorship in the name of leadership of the National Assembly. Honestly. Look at the, look at the okay. guy from Kano, one moment, who was away for almost one year one plus. Year. Yes. One moment, please. Uh, Samson in Wari, good morning. Yes. What is it? Good morning, Neon Kuyori. I love your dress code, sir. Keep it up. And good morning, our panelists. Sir. Good, good morning. Yes, sir. Neon uh, Kuyori, to me, is a stage play. And the title is uh, The Return of the Maid. That's number one. Sir, if we check, a did that very incident. You know, uh, the senator in the house, they clamor that all the security chiefs should be back immediately. Then the next day, he told the mayor. And the security chief, he showed them that they are in power. They returned the base the same day. And that's another one. Then, sir, Uncle Yuri, let me give you a very good click of everything. They made the law. And they are the one that over, all, every time they overrode the law. It is clear your constitution, and your constitution cannot even go beyond the Nigerian constitution. It cannot start a senator more than a day. 
Now, if that one should be the case, as I'm talking, talking to you now, I voted for Obi Omagege. It's for my constituency. I waited for not less than four hours to vote for him. So at the end of the day, now we don't have anybody yet. Let's say in, in, in the house. Then we are just talking of cabal or not cabal in that very house. Any time the little Jimmy Belai took that ground and nailed and shouted, it, 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 must, it, it must go through. And that thing has to stop, Okoyori. That thing has to stop. They don't stop it. They will never do a good thing for us. Our, 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 uh, 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 budget since November last year, waiting. The, the fight against corruption, the deal is there with them. They don't work on it. But they are trying to do everything possible to jeopardize it. And I'm going to let me tell you, if they don't work on it, this is, this is just like stage one, stage two. On the way. Mm. Good morning and thank you very much. Fasi, some people, have, I mean, this is a very abnormal situation, although it's not unique. Um, but people are even, I think somebody even said it's, a, it's an attempt, attempted coup. Uh, is that exaggerating? To, to me, it's sheer banality. There's nothing like a, a coup attempt or whatever. It was dramatized. I want to tell you somebody that. Somebody said a stage it, play. A stage play. And uh, the return of the miss, that was the title of the play. <laughs> and now that, it's in Act 1, Scene 1. You are yes. moving on to either Scene 2 now, or Act 2, Scene 2. But where where, where the security thing, chiefs have been invited I've to be told quizzed. You, I told you that all these things are journey towards 2019. You see, we're having political permutations, political calculations, and all the rest. You see, people are realizing all those political strategies, political machinations, towards 2019 and you, you, you have not seen anything Yori. you're mm. going to see worse things mm. Mm. because there that, are some elements there that are not comfortable with what is happening and i told you that the apc itself is a political party of saint bear fellows that some people are not even they're not there they're, they're just there physically especially mm. Emotionally, they are not there. Okay. Um, and that is why APC has never been the same. They've never agreed on anything. Since look at the, what I mean, look at what happened recently about uh, the general allegation or, or not. The, the governors took a position. The president came, said this. They said they will, they will go back. They went back. They said, okay, we now agree with the president. The the spokesperson, who is Saraki's boy. Said Abdullah, the president. said the president just made a statement. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the PR. Uh, uh, the later APC they now said they agreed. You see, this is the problem. Until we return to pre pre two thousand, uh, I mean nineteen eighty three, before Buhari came in to power, where we had political parties based on ideologies, uh, UPN. Uh, uh, MPP, MPP, MPN, GMPP, uh, uh, PRP, GMPP. Yeah. So, okay, uh, one moment, please. Uh, uh, Alaji Medoke in uh, what? Nasarawa. Uh, thank you for holding on all that while. Go ahead now, sir. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, okay, I got you, sir. Good morning. God bless you. Morning. How are you, sir? Uh, we thank God that we still have some lawyers in Nigeria who understand the law. And at any given opportunity, they will not turn the law upside down. I want to ask you. Who we'll know whether it is those people who say the Kaba that are not even happy with the leadership of Sharaki that is so Victoria that has received the opportunity of Obama Bibi to stay this school. That is not the truth. The case in the National Assembly is who will bear the cat. Because Sharaki has hold every senator to ransom and any attempt for you to challenge its authority. You know the lawyer will start up and no one claim and that person has been suspended. That is not the truth. And that is why if we tell the social media where we were, just at the time what happened was not good. A lot of Nigeria are happy that such thing has happened in our National Assembly. In many cases, we are telling these people to go to National Assembly and dance and make sure to do people and circulate the new world that Nigeria people we are not serious. That is not the truth. Mm. But unfortunately, we are saying the youth will take over. And that people will take over. How do they take over? When you need about two, three billion to consent in your constituency to come to the National Assembly. Mm. So these people, they hijack Nigerian, they have every resources to hold everybody to ransom. And I can assure you, go and mark it. 
shoot me something because all these people we still come back to that one, my team. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much for calling in, Alaiji. In fact, I was going to ask, uh, I got to go on a break now, uh, but when we come back, it, 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 will there be consequences in, in our society? Will there be of consequences for what later. is becoming Sooner a theater of the absurd? Sooner than later. Okay, we'll be right back. Stay with us, please. Welcome back. We're looking at what to many appears as a theater of the absurd in the <coughs> National Assembly that is supposed to make laws for the good order of society. Um, but who do they make these laws for? Uh, they themselves don't seem to be too keen on obeying every aspect of the law. In fact, when we were off air, um, it was, um, you know, uh, Curtis who was, you know, remembering that the, the, the remuneration, for example, is a case in point. Yeah. Where they go against what the constitution, you, you, were, you were just reading the relevant section. The Senate, and how they say that. The Senate as an institution mm. was established by the law. Section 4 of our constitution makes provision for the establishment of the National Assembly. Yes. Section 47 says the National Assembly is made up of the Senate and the House of Representatives. When you go to section 70, it's very clear there. The salaries, salaries and allowances of members of the National Assembly will be faced by revenue mobilization allocation and fiscal commission. But are they, are they allowing the people to do that? These guys, they don't even want to live by the same laws that they are prescribing for others. And so they face their salaries and allowances. Until recently when, and for years, Nigerians have been asking, how much do you earn? At the point they sent some phony uh, pay slips out, you know, to deceive mm. and mislead the people, mm -hmm. until Senator Shehusani told us how much these guys earn in a month. They make laws, but they don't want to live by this law. Look at the budget, for instance, like some, some callers said. They're just flexing muscles, and the people are suffering. You got this estimate since November. November. As we speak, they have not done anything about it. And the reason why it is so is because they are still earning their salaries because you can spend the equivalent of what you spent in the last fiscal year. So they are not worried. This budget probably will be passed by next month, and in August, they go on recess and come back and say, what has the executive done? I think Nigerians must wake up and begin to ask questions. Why has the Senate become, I'm sorry to use this word, a court of power and authority? That senators who enthroned a man that they call their leader mm -hmm. cannot even question him on anything. Well, that, that, that's, that's, yes. that, that's... You the, understand? Well, that, that's the, and, and I'm not just not the mystery of power in our society. But this, this doesn't they happen say, so, sir. They say that people it, it, are reluctant to speak excuse, the excuse, truth it never to happened, power. It never happened before. It never happened before. So what's different and this time? The difference this time was that the way Amana emerged. I'm talking about the Senate president now. Yes. yes. And even the, the speaker. And even the speaker. The way they emerged was the, I mean. The, it the, the, it the was party, not according to the books. Yes. The party supremacy was thrown overboard. The, the party never had any. That, that was the fault of the party. Because the party couldn't get its ass uh, together. Yeah, as I said. But look, party. that imposed some abnormality yes. on our system. Yes. You cannot have a Senate president from one party uh, and uh, deputy uh, senate uh, president from, from another, another party. party. In fact, you cannot even have, according to the democratic tradition, you cannot even have a senator <laughs> from the minority party as chairman of a committee. Look, let me, let, let me, let me yeah. ask a question. Yes. I, I, Do you understand I, what I'm saying? You know, this is very informative. So, but even as you say what you say that you cannot even have, so why do we have? Is it that we're a very complacent lot? No, no, what happened is Why that? is there not such a public uproar uh, because that, that a lot of people work will not be doable anymore. They have weaponized no, religion this. and ethnicity, ethnicity and party politics to divide the people. Sentiment. Get us to focus on the on things that are not important. Let me give you an example. For instance, we part of our system, this presidential system of democracy, we copy it from the United States of America. Mm -hmm. You better over copy it. You, look, and and we we diluted it to a, to to accommodate our selfish nature. You never hear about Senate president in America no. in an active position. No. The majority leader of the Senate is the leader of the Senate, and he comes from the party with the majority. Mm -hmm. Now, the vice president of the United States of America doubles 
as, as the Senate president, but he comes only when there's a tie, mm. to break the tie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't have deputy speaker. Mm -hmm. We have created so many offices. offices. We've given them so much power. If you are not a member of the party with the majority, even in the, in the UK, you can only be a shadow minister. You can't be a full minister. You understand? So what we have here is just a mixture it's, of nothing. It, you it, you it, take, it's, 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 uh, one moment, please. I beg your pardon. Okay. Emmanuel in Otukwo, good morning. <laughs> That's my brother. Yeah, good, morning, sir. good morning. Uh, good morning, Uncle Yuri. Good morning, sir. Good morning, the panelists. Good thank morning. you. I uh, thank you, my brother, dear Curtis. We are proud of you. Thank you, Emmanuel. Um, what happened? What happened that we are calling a national assembly invasion? I think we are giving it the wrong uh, terminology. That thing was not an invasion. It was. It was a very big plus for democracy. And I think we expect more of that because of what is happening at the National Assembly. The National Assembly is the number one enemy of this country, and Nigerians are aware of it. They are the cause of why, what we, why we are standing where we are today. You see, where a situation where Salaki decides to man the North Pole, and Dubera to man the South Pole, and the National Assembly to man the East Pole, and then the ministers and political appointees manning the West Pole, and Buhari standing in the center, in this circle of fire, and are telling him there is no way to pass. That is why they are holding him to a standstill, and that's why the country is like this. The efforts that Buhari has made so far, we give him kudos because he has really tried. Immediately they suspended Omo Adege at the Senate. I knew they are taking the battle too far. They are taking it to the lion's den. And normally the lions will strike. Because well, you know, they take class. We saw what happened at the National Assembly. Uh, well, I expected the black belter, Dino Melai, to stand up to the fight. Uh -huh. yeah. And also Ben yeah. Bruce, I think he's a Kofu king. I expected yeah. them to stand yes. up to the fight. But at the moment of need, all of them chicken out. You see, we expect more to happen at the National Assembly. Unless they change their tactics okay. and their wickedness against Nigerians. Indeed. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for calling. I made the point, it was slightly but, but, that look, but, they're but, supposed to be uh, men of valor. But you Nobody. know, but you know, Dino Milaye is not around. Okay, Yuri. He's gone with his boss to Washington. Yuri, you know one thing. <laughs> so, you know one thing. Is the chief escort. Look, I call it. So, well, so I, it's there. I call so what is happening in the Senate a dangerous triangle. You know what happens? Every time there is an issue, Dino Milaye gets up and he says his privilege and that of the Senate has been breached. The Senate pre he moves to the Senate president, who now moves to the PDP chairman of the ethics committee, Senator Anyangu. And that one will always come back and return a verdict of guilt, guilty. So look, we can't continue to play this. Senators what, represent... What, 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 are, what are the consequences, if any? Because the there's, the, the, there's a way... Uh, let me first, the yes. consequences is that the is Arab Spring, which we pray would not happen, but... That could be stretched to that level. We should be aware of the ice of March. Hmm. The Arab Spring. Because, like the last class said, if that invasion took place the way it is, then it's going to spur more reactions. Yeah. Because if it was as serious, is it too ridiculous a question to ask that, oh, you therefore mean that Asso Rock can be overrun too, no, if somebody has a point of view that me, he does not agree the with? The only statement I made was that security gives way to conspiracy. Yes. yes. So the same way that security gave way to the invasion of the National Assembly, it may also give way. Because nobody, they would not even allow anybody to demonstrate near the entrance, yeah. the gate of the National Assembly. Exactly. They would have barricaded the whole place. The but this, way, this particular case oh, now, okay. yes. they, uh, could, they conspired among themselves to let it be. Ma, Zio Good morning. Good, good morning, sir. Good morning, yeah. our guest in the studio. Good morning, sir. Happy Ma, good morning. You see, Mr. Yuri and our guest here, what we saw on this screen, just for minutes, uh, 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 just for a minute, do you agree with us that all these boys they brought to come and carry the men. At the end of the day, if those people that brought those boys, they did not win in 2019, what will happen? Are we not increasing the population of criminals inside Nigeria? <laughs> Are we not increasing the, 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 the population of people that that radicality based on what you have said? Now you see, when we do, when the, our honourable do things in short for their own betterment. They don't know that they are creating more problems to themselves. Because yeah. come 2019, I think 80% of them will not come back here. 
Because what is happening now, because Nigerians, their eyes have opened. Bless, and you know what is annoying me more is that our youth, they will just give you 20 naira, you follow them and go to that national assembly and create problems. At the end of the day, the, the very youth will come back to us. But the thing is that some of them feel because they have not that when, when the last one I've just said, all that, they don't just send it us. All of them will stand at this. That they, 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 they are scared. They, are, they, are they cannot even move to grasp all those words, which mm. means they have a self they are not seeing those things. Which means that the, the, the fear inside them is more than Nigerian outside. Now, what do we do? At the end of the day, when they go out, they go and carry all these soldiers, police, name them, SS to Ghana. But when they come to the United States, they cannot open that just uh, uh, follow, follow, which is very, very bad. Then I'm just going on all Nigeria. Come 2019, all of them in that assembly, they should all go home and sit down. If those of them who have the very good condition, they should go back to the farm. Okay. That's very much have a present day. Really. Indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, firstly, to continue on the theme of, uh, of, of uh, repercussion or consequences yes. of all of this. Um, uh, what he just said that 80% of them will not come back. That's not what, you know, memory tells us. We, they, they say we have a very, very short memory in this, in this society. Yes. And don't be surprised if all these people come back. So it's going to be a perpetual cycle of this kind of rascality. I have told you, you see, Nisho Abosi Lakuna, a time will come when all these things do not take place. A time was when Nigeria was good. A time was when Nigeria was bad. Now Nigeria is worse. So maybe this will be the beginning of good things that come the way of Nigeria. You see, it cannot be like this forever. That, that is if, if the very yeah, Nigeria could, remains. Me. If the I, Nigeria told, remains told you as it is being assaulted. Now, so <clears throat> let me tell you, what happened in the Senate is an eye opener. It's going to tell people that it is possible for you to invade anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I tell you that if if there was no conspiracy there. I mean, look at the calm we, with which these guys yes, are walking well, yes. in to take the mess Not out. Even that. Let look me, at all the senators you, observing if, them. If, if it was not... Uh, look at it. He if, just picked it up me, as calmly as possible. If it was not state managed, it's quite easy. Yes. Me, the video clips are there. Yes. They, they could analyze this thing. And they could get the, these people. This was stage managed. Ilori, the timing and the optics yes. are suspicious. But they haven't said that. You talked about consequences. There will be consequences. But you see... The senators are all not in one basket and in one constituency. So it's up to the people the of their constituency to decide what their fate is. But the point I'm making is, look, the National Assembly, all right, is the filter of democracy. Well, they it are, should be. They are there to ensure that the government works and works well. Checks and balances. Now, the, 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 look, and the way they do this is through interventions by critical laws, as well as oversight function. Now, let us assess the National Assembly in these two areas, okay? Look, in lawmaking, what laws have they made to impact directly on the lives of ordinary Nigerians? Each time a senator gets up and he says he has the point of national, or, 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 or national important national, or, uh, national or, or order, significance. Okay. it is either about the privileges of the senators <laughs> Or about one story that somebody had written somewhere yes. about the senator. It's never about critical but, intervention in the lives of the Nigerian people. If it's about oversight function, emphasis is on protocol. Why a chief executive did not rise up from his table mm. to receive them, to receive them. Mm. or why he's not coming in mm. uniform. Mm. And in the midst in of short, in, in the midst of this distraction, the core issues are left untouched. I want to ask Nigerians a question. If you have an employer that earns as much as 14.250 million every month, are you satisfied with what these employers, employees are giving to you as value for money? And if not, what can you do about it? We have a budget. And if not, what can you do about it? Of course. I've got to take Aki in the UK. I beg your pardon. Good morning, Aki in the UK. Good morning, Aki. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, um, good morning to um, Dr. Fassi and the um, uh, gentleman sitting next to him. Yes, I'm Mr. Diga. I think it's, um, uh, I think we should stop all this and consider uh, conspiracy theories because uh, they don't actually um, <coughs> bring to fall any reality at all. They're only speculating. They don't bring uh, conspiracy theories into this. The reality here is that the act needs to be condemned. It is an affront to the Nigerian state. We have we condemned it. It has been roundly condemned. Condemned it. It has been roundly condemned. But we cannot, we but, cannot without... Aki, the point is, yes, you, saw, you just saw the clip. 
It seemed as, as if yes, the whole I house was you, cooperating I, 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 with I, the invaders. Okuyori, Okuyori, I saw the clip. Okay, in my assessment of the clip, okay, in my assessment, in my assessment of the clip, what I saw there was a Senate chamber that was bewildered. You understand me? By the okay. calling of Senator Omo Agegi. Okay. You understand it, was, it was stunned into inaction. Yes, the, the, that, that's just basically what it was. Secondly, we also have to put into context, okay, how come there was a relaxation of security within the complex of the National Assembly? We need to ask questions, and those questions have not been answered. You understand me? There has to be a total condemnation of this act. We are not going to answer the question. We are not security men. Whether Agege was wrong or not, it's not the question right now. The issue right now is that under the hallowed chambers, we are not to give such preferences. Secondly, this is my, this is my, um, what do you call it? This is my um, summation. It is important for us and, uh, in, the, in the clans of Nigeria that we do not see all things as suspicious. It is become, it is very unbecoming. And you know, this is a misleading thread. You understand me? To the Nigerian public. So what's your take? I beg your pardon, Aki. So what's your take, therefore, of what happened in the National Assembly in the absence of the conspiracy theory? Listen, you do, there's nothing we can... There's, there's nothing we can prove right now until the investigations are carried out. But you have already proven yours by saying it's Senator Momo Agege. You are saying it's Senator Momo Agege that, that brought the talks. How are you able to prove that? I haven't condemned the man. I never said I haven't <laughs> condemned the man. And it has not. It has nothing to do with. You know what I, mean? I only said what I said was that the people came in with him, whether they were his supporters or not. I do not know because I didn't hear them speak to each other. That's one. Okay. Thing. What I just said was that there was a laxity of security, yes. and because of that, you understand me, things went out of shape. And it just as simple as straightforward. And you don't think that lax in security was highly suspicious? This is what I'm asking. Okay, obviously, how, how are you sure that they are not the supporters of... Yeah, yeah, well, how are you sure that they are not the supporters of um, Omar Gege in the National Assembly? Who told the police and everybody not to, not to stand against? We don't know. All right, then. So well, we th thank you very much, Aki, from the UK. Really yeah. appreciate the interaction. Yeah. Thank you very much. The National Assembly employed a chief security officer, who is the sergeant at times, a retired general. Mm. That's the man that should call first. Mm. So, he's to so explain... How security, How did, uh, uh, was security architecture yes. was dismantled. Yes. Well, so uh, it, should, it should be the one to answer the question. Uh, uh, but, but the Senate, exactly. The Senate yeah. has already initiated that process by, yes. according to uh, newspapers, in front, uh, I have the nation in front of me here, Senate to quiz Inspector General of Police, DSS DG, over what is referred to Excuse as me. thugs it's, invasion. It's, to me, it's misplaced. You have a sergeant at arms, yes. who is a retired general, who, who, he's the head of security. Yes. He, and coordinates he, was there. All, he coordinates all the security apparatus in the National Assembly. Mm. Both the Nigerian police, the SSS, the civil defense, and the internal uh, yeah. security personnel. Do you know the but he was found wanting. Do you know yeah, the, so yeah. why, so well, well, the IG sitting in uh, Lucidate's house, <laughs> You expect him to know what's happening when the, there's a sergeant at arms. Who was present. Who was, present. Who was actually at the scene of the, the crime. Scene, the scene of the crime. You, you know the funny thing about that is even it. if they agree, even if they agree, if they so agree that the crime has been committed, the that would lock the gate of the Senate. You, you know the funny it's thing. the one that would lock the it, gate, the three gates it's, before it's, you come. It's very difficult it's to jettison. And ingress. You, you know what? It's very difficult three. to jettison you, you a conspiracy you know, you know theory. We, it's know, very, very difficult. Do you know why we're even though do, one should not take a position do you know before we're investigations talking about are this? concluded? Do you know why we are all talking about this? And it's a national pastime. It's because some big men are involved. This is what an average Nigerian says every day. It goes through every day. His life is gets invaded, <laughs> mm, and mm. We, we don't ask questions how a private house was invaded or yes. how people traveling oh, look, by the road. Uh, wow. Now the man in Nasarawa <laughs> who was uh, anti Benry is now suffering the same fate. Yes. Mm. The, the yeah, one in the uh, so, Kogi State is now suffering. The, the one that just said told the world, "Let uh, Esme come to my place." It's now raising a, a team to investigate. So, so the same thing in Edo State, the same thing in Delta State, and all that. I understand. And nobody's saying anything. Okay. One moment. Comrade Ayo in Oshun, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you very much for calling in, sir. Good morning to your guests. Good morning. Good morning. 
uh, of your, you see, the, the action of those who invaded the National Assembly is condemnable. Agreed. No doubt about it. Yes. Because this is 21st century. Nobody does that again. Nobody goes around with talk. Even in the, in the election, though we have uh, cases of violence, but this time around, people are more wiser. People do things democratically. Omo Adeke has done the right thing by going to court. That is what our law says. That if you are aggrieved, you go to court. However, but the, 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 the court. suspension <laughs> being meted out by the leadership of the National Assembly, to my opinion, I don't think that is the right thing to do. How can you, 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 you subject a section or a district for uh, uh, not represented, you suspend their representative, and they don't have a boss there. You use suspension to intimidate people who are, who are against your thoughts, who are against your opinion. This eight National Assembly has recorded the highest level of suspension so far since our return to democracy in 1999. Mm -hmm. They use this suspension to intimidate, to threaten those who they believe are against their, their, their wish. So it is not good for our democracy. Indeed. And the court has ruled, according to the ACN, uh, Femi Falana, that the, plate, the judgment of their people is a constructive judgment that stands on suspension of lawmakers. Yes. So I believe the, the National Assembly should, should follow the law rightly. I have always maintained that when we try to bend the rules, when we try to change the rules, that there will be chaos, no doubt. And that is what is happening now. And there is no way legality, uh, illegality will not be get illegality. Mm. In the first place, the leadership of the, the National Assembly. All right, then. And Thank you very much, your comrade. Really see, appreciate you, comrade. See. Thank you very much for Let calling Let me also in. say this much, uh, Yori. Yes. You remember when uh, uh, Ovi Oma Agege yes. went to court? Yes, yes. To tell you the rascality in the National Assembly, they had the temerity and the audacity to tell him that he must to withdraw. write to the Chief Justice of the Federation yes. that judges should be called to order. In fact, they even said he had no right to approach the court, to court. and that he should go and withdraw the suit first. first. And he did that. He came, he apologized. No, he didn't withdraw the suit. Yeah, he, but he apologized. Before he, when he went to the, before, at the plenary of the Senate, he apologized and withdrew the statement that he made. Mm -hmm. But they still sent him to the ethics committee. Yes. Now, when he, got wind, he got wind of when, the, That he was going to be suspended. Suspect. He then he filed the suit. The and what they are saying is that, he has no right to take them to court because according to the internal rules of the Senate, mm -hmm. that no senator should take the Senate to court. That's not... Look, no, the Constitution. If you are the Constitution. The Constitution. Look, because you say, say, you're free. Anybody's free to approach the court. Even when you are disciplined, when you want to discipline a member of an organization, the Supreme Court has said, you, will even st you still have to obey the provisions of the law. One of them is like fair hearing. Mm -hmm. You cannot say because... This is, a, this is a, a group we have a right to discipline and will not even give the man fair hearing by listening to him. So, I mean, so this, the is the point grand, that, this is the grand norm. There is no, Anything that is inconsistent with this constitution There is, is no not action in Nigeria that is not subject to a judicial review. Indeed, and I guess one of the most important things in this whole saga is that there have to be consequences. Otherwise, as uh, the comment has just finished saying, illegality yeah, will beget illegality. It, it is only Nigerians... Especially for the youths that are being canvassed only, to come and take charge. It is only Nigerians that will decide their own future. Okay. If you leave it to politicians, believe me, we don't get anything done. So, as they said, what you have seen is just the act people. one, scene one. The Red Chamber well, in any uh, country... In rounding off, because yes, we've... Uh, the Red Chamber in any country is the most matured of the two chambers, you expect better behavior and conduct. Mm. You, want to, you want to see them focus their attention yes. on the well-being of the country, yes, yes, not yes, on yes. political brickmanship. Uh, but it's a work in progress no, in what, Nigeria. Look, I it's a work in progress. No, how many years? The problem we are facing is that, look, some people see muscle flexing as the main reason why they are in the National Assembly. And I'm not saying that the executive is perfect. Yes. But what we are saying is that, look, we cannot turn the National Assembly to a mini court where yeah. they rule you know, the rule of a few. Yes, yes. So yes. the rules are capacities uh, of one in, um, well, some well, individuals. Some individuals. Yes, I, I completely run out of time, but let's see, I can squeeze in uh, Mr. Bonaya uh, in the FCT. Good morning. Thank you very much. Quick one. Yes. Some people are calling, like, actually, and condemning, you know, the snatching of the maid. They call it talking and all of that. While I'm sorry, a 
major talk and other talk are in the National Assembly. One has traveled with the Senate President. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. He called himself a chattered bastard. I'm telling you know that it is wrong in a democratic setting. I ask the question, what do you do in a democratic setting? You go to court. The court resolves the matter. The court has said you have no right to sack a senator and sack a section of the country. And when you defy it, what are you calling for? Yeah. Anarchy. 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 Mm. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible. Oh, make violent, violent one. Inevitable. Right Indeed. Thank you very much for calling in. Really appreciate your call. We've completely run out of time. We are going to keep an eye on this. And it's just been said, this, this goes against all the rules that we've written for ourselves yes. as civilized people. Yes. Uh, there have to be consequences. We hope indeed that it won't just be the Nigerian thing where it doesn't matter. And these very people, because of our short memory, get voted back again uh, when the time comes. Uh, thank you. No, it will not happen this time. Thank you very much, Dr. Yusuf, uh, and um, also uh, Mr. Adiba. Thank you very much for thank coming you for on having the program. Us. Yes. Okay, that's our program. Um, join us on Monday for a fresh edition because we don't do weekends. Have a great weekend. I am Yori Fulani. Bye bye for now.